The manager of an auto dealership is considering a new bonus plan designed to increase sales volume. Currently, the mean sales volume is 14 autos per month. The manager wants to conduct a research study to see whether the new bonus plan increases sales volume. To collect data on the plan, a sample of sales personnel will be allowed to sell under the new bonus plan for a one-month period. Part A. Develop the null and alternative hypotheses most appropriate for this situation. So we're wanting to see whether the new bonus plan increases sales volume, so therefore we want to put mu greater than 14 in the alternative hypothesis and that means in the null hypothesis we're going to have mu less than or equal to 14. Part B, comment on the conclusion when the null hypothesis cannot be rejected. So if we cannot reject the null hypothesis, in other words it's plausible that mu is less than or equal to 14 under the new bonus plan. In other words, the bonus plan doesn't appear to be very effective. Part C, comment on the conclusion when the null hypothesis can be rejected. So if we're rejecting the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative, it looks like the new bonus plan is effective and the mu is greater than 14.